friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or if you're coming over from the playlist, I'm Holly, welcome. And today we're doing a collab video for Santa Christmas cookies. And it is hosted by Valerie from The Harget Life. She is one of the sweetest women that I've met on YouTube. And her channel consists of baking and cooking and also some grocery hauls and things like that. So please check her channel out. Uh, if you love her content, which I think you will, please subscribe to her channel. There will also be a playlist of other YouTubers that are doing this collab. So please click their links and show them some support. And if you like their content, then subscribe to their channels also. My channel consists of cooking and baking. And every now and then I will do some DIYs, some grocery hauls and shopping hauls. So if that's the type of content that you like, then please click the subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. I would love to have you here. And today I'm making for this video a gingerbread cookie bar and it has a cream cheese and eggnog uh, frosting. So I hope that you would enjoy this video and if you like it, please click that like button. And if you like the content and you'd like to see more of it, just hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started making these cookies. And to make the gingerbread cookie bars, it's very simple ingredients, uh, mostly spices and some extract and molasses but you will need a half a cup of granulated sugar and a third cup of brown sugar packed, two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of molasses, a half a cup of butter softened, or one stick, one egg, and then here's your spices. You will need a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ginger, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth teaspoon of allspice. And the ingredients for the frosting you will need one and a fourth cup of powdered sugar, some sprinkles, and the recipe calls for the nonpareils that's what they used on it, but I'm using just these and you can use whatever you'd like. One tablespoon of eggnog, two tablespoons of butter, and four ounces of cream cheese, or a half a stick of that. And since the frosting is made with the cream cheese and the eggnog, I do store these in the refrigerator. But if you do not want to make this type of frosting, you can always use store-bought and just anything that would go well with gingerbread uh, cookies. Add the granulated sugar and the brown sugar along with the softened butter to a mixing bowl and you will cream this together. Now add the egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons of molasses. And each time I add a spoon, I will scrape out the rest of it because it is thick. So you want to make sure that you're getting exactly three tablespoons. And you will need to scrape the bowl down every now and then. Just make sure that all of those ingredients are being incorporated. Now, in a separate bowl, add the salt, baking soda, and the spices, and just mix it up really, really well. And then you want to mix that into the flour and just make sure that you're incorporating it. Uh, evenly distributing it throughout the flour. And 
Now once everything is mixed well, you will add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And you want to add just a little bit of this at a time. And it doesn't take very long. And just continue to add the flour to that mixture until it's fully incorporated. Now lightly spray a 9 by 9 inch baking dish or a pan and just use some non-stick cooking spray. I'm using some of the Baker's Joy that has the flour in it. Then you will spread the mixture into the pan and it is thick because this is a cookie dough. So all you need to do is just put it into that pan and then I usually use a spoon and I will take that to spread it out. It, it's a little bit easier than trying to use the spatula. And I also use a knife just to spread it a little bit evenly. Um, it just, I have a little bit more control that way and to try to get it to push it up against the sides of the pan. Now once you have that spread out in the pan, then put it in the oven on 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes until the edges start to brown. And I cooked this one for 20 minutes and that was plenty enough. Now to make the frosting, you will cream together the cream cheese and the butter until it's smooth. And then you will start to add in the powdered sugar and the eggnog. And then you will beat that until it's completely smooth. Now I did feel like the frosting was just a little bit thin. So I did add just a little bit more of the powdered sugar to this and just to kind of help thicken it up a little bit. I did put this in the refrigerator and that did help with the texture of it. And as you can see after having the frosting in the refrigerator for a little bit, it did thicken up and it makes it a lot easier to spread it evenly over the gingerbread cookie. Now add the sprinkles that you're using and just put them over the icing and you can use as little or as much as you like. Now you will cut it in four straight rows one way and then you will turn it and then cut it again in four more rows and it's good to kind of have a little bit of a guide to it. You just mark where you're going to start cutting and that should give you 16 even cookie bars. Now the texture of the cookie will depend on how long you bake it for. Uh, 20 minutes, it gives you somewhat of a softer cookie. Um, it is, if you cook it a little bit longer, it will be a little bit harder. But I feel like 20 minutes was long enough and it had a perfect texture to it. It's not cake-like, it is a cookie bar. Now please don't forget to visit Valerie's channel and also the other YouTubers that are in the playlist please go and visit their channels also and get some good Santa cookie recipes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in seeing more videos like it, 
please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. I hope that everyone has a very merry and blessed Christmas, and I hope that everyone enjoys their holiday season. God bless y'all.